Legion, it's Adrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Surviving Mars in our Shadow of Elysium series. We have finished configuring our second dome here. Now, we have it shut off for the time being because the passage hasn't been built yet. Once the passage has been built, residents from this dome can come over here to work if they want to. I'm not going to have them worry about that just yet. Uh, the founder stage will be ending in a little bit over four sols. And when that's done, we're going to actually have, you know, a bunch of colonists come in fairly rapidly to help get this going. But this is our first passageway. There it is. So we don't actually get to, this one is so short that we don't have an x-ray element where we actually get to see colonists moving through it. But uh, we also noted at the end of the last episode, it's so short that we can't even get a ramp over it because we put these domes pretty close together. But that's by design. The doors are close by, so, you know, people can get around. We are out of polymers, though. And actually, it looks like we need some in order to build the apartments in the second dome, which is a little frustrating. We are producing <laughs> a few polymers in the polymer factory, but not that many. So, yeah, like I said, we could have a slight resource shortage. I mentioned this in the last episode. We could have a slight resource shortage as we uh, as we get to the end here of, of the founder stage. But once the founder stage has passed, things should, uh, things should be pretty good. All right, extractor amplification is done. Hole polarization is now being researched. That's good news. So with extractor amplification done, we've researched dust repulsion. Ooh, solar panels have less frequent maintenance if we go with that. That's really tempting. We have 450 million funding again, too, by the way, so I can always order more supplies if I needed them. Do I want whole port? Yeah, I do. I want that as soon as possible. And yeah, I think all these in order are good. Hmm. Yeah, let's have transport optimization after that. We we're a little bit behind on getting that done. This guy is bringing in some metals. I know we're low on polymers. You know what? Let's let's do... Since I have the money again, thanks to the research. Let's bring in an additional shipment. Of the things that we need. 15 polymers, 10 machine parts. Launch. We're okay on electronics. It's the other stuff we don't have. And I don't want to, I don't want to be low on those. So let's not... Let's not play fast and loose. We need this we need this uh, research colony to be successful, right? All right, so this RC transport's about to unload a bunch of metal right here. And then they're going to go to town with it because there's a lot that needs to be built with that. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see these Solar panels require maintenance, too. That's what's eating up my metal. All right, so he's going back for more. Subsurface heater is almost built. This one has no metal yet. Just want to make sure that's in range, and it is. Okay, so... I'm okay on concrete for the time being, but I would like to go ahead and have concrete extractors running again so that we are taking care of this resource situation here. So how about we set you up about right there? Actually, that's a good angle. I like that. Put you right there. Maybe it wasn't necessary to delete those power cables after all. Let's see, what would be the best route? Just send one out from this direction. Yeah, that works. That works best. It's all in range. So extractor ampl amplification, I think, was researched. Yep, it has been. It requires polymers, though. We don't have polymers. Also, hello. Get some dumping sites set up out here. I'll clean that up pretty quickly. There's a tech that you can get later on to help convert all this waste rock into concrete. It's a beautiful thing when it happens. 
I think I will, as, as soon as I'm done with this recording session, I am going to, that suggestion I made a few episodes ago, I do want to pass along to the folks on the dev team and just like let them, know, let them know on Twitter. This is not a game that I've played a lot, so I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I can I can talk them into adding this thing. Don't misinterpret me at all. I'm just, I'm excited. So I'm sharing my thoughts and you guys are welcome to share yours on, on what you think of it. But um, the idea of having the, the um, those things that I just built, dumping sites, kind of telescope, be able to increase their diameter uh, by, you know, two tiles at a time. So they go from three tiles wide to five tiles wide, etc. To, uh, or you could do one tile at a time. So three tiles to four tiles to five tiles, whatever. But um, five tiles would be just, you know, a straight up, you know, expansion from the middle each time. It'll be nice, I think. All right, Founder Stage has under three days left in it, thankfully. So we are coming to the end. Now, where is the RC transport? Okay, you're on your way back. And you do have plenty of power still. All right, you're ready to land, and I need you to land. Oh, we're in the middle of a dust storm. Of course we are. Five hours, and then we'll land. Dang it. I need you to land now. Ugh. <laughs> So we should have enough polymers for the open-air gem. Interesting that the wheat is actually growing in here. I wouldn't have expected that. They haven't had anyone to work it. What is the deal, though, with these shortages that keep popping up? Don't know what to make of it. So the Moxie is going to need to be repaired. You can see that. Dust storm is ending now. Land, dang it. Need those resources yesterday. All right. Two saws and eight hours left. All right. You can see them bringing resources out. Or no, actually, they're all just coming around. I don't know why they're traveling that way. Some of them are taking fuel to the rocket, because I still have plenty of fuel. I have actually insane amounts of fuel. I can probably, in order to save water, I can shut down a couple of these fuel refineries. I could even shut down all three if I wanted to. I think I'll leave that one running. But I'm okay on fuel for the time being, so why not, or, you know, why leave them on? Right, the Moxie's going again, and with that, we don't have any shortages there. Okay, so it seems like maybe this was just a maintenance issue. You know, water, the water situation is fixing itself. Ariane number one, this is our first rocket. Uh, oh, we're gonna forbid exports for now. We only have the one basic resource. The one, uh, not basic resource, but the one rich metal. We do need to go ahead. One thing we're going to need to do now that we have this in place and we have a, a means to make money is we need to start thinking about where we put a dome. Like we might need to go ahead and start getting ready to have colonists down here in this area because this is going to be a great dome location here. We'll have to have a subsurface heater running if we put it smack dab in the middle of all these. We might be able to swing putting it here, but some of that's going to be cold ground no matter where the, where the dome is if I put a dome there. So... That'll be something to think about. Also, are the subsurface heaters done yet? Almost. Okay, you launch. So we are once again low on... How are we low on machine parts? I just had more brought in. We, we, were we that low? Yeah, we really need to get our... This is what I was talking about with the, the resource shortage. I know we're low on metals. Okay, so... Let's see. That's why we need to have colonists mining them. Gather those. And unload there, please. Thanks. Closing in on one day left in the founder stage, and we can bring in more people. If I activate this, what happens? All right, so we do have a, a water shortage if that goes down. Now... 
All right, so the subsurface heater here has been turned on. Um, I want to have its surface area increased so that it definitely covers that water tower. I'm going to say at that point, we'll go ahead and turn it off. That's why the machine, they, they require five machine parts each. That's where the machine parts went. It wasn't for maintenance reasons. Meteor storm coming in two saws in three hours. Wow. Disaster after disaster. Aha, 64 medals in sector F4. That's good to know. We'll have metal mining going soon enough though. Things will be better. All right, this one's gonna have one hell of a surface area, but we need to turn it off for now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it can't even fully warm everything, but it makes it mostly better. I'm actually not a fan of that. I kind of want to move it. But I can't without giving up some of the resources I just spent. So we'll see if we can get away with just using it there. But it needs to be a little closer in order to optimally heat the domes. I was hoping that at maximum surface range, it would reach the end of both domes. So the kids are going to be cold. <laughs> Oh, that's so mean. That's so, so mean. I don't like that. I don't want to leave the kids. There are no kids right now, but there might be soon. We've researched a breakthrough. Good. So less maintenance as a result of finishing whole polarization. Now we're working on systematic training. Scientists and botanists will have more performance. Productivity training will improve the performance of engineers and geologists. And then we're going to get Martian patents for some more money. Transport optimization. Um... I mean, we could do Martian patents now, honestly. But then again, we have some funding. Hmm. And we got some funding from the research we just finished. So what I could do is just order another cargo rocket. Wow, those are expensive. Good lord. Doing otherwise, I need both polymers and so yeah, that's no, 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 no fire rocket, cargo rocket. Don't have the money anyway. That's not a misclick I need to worry about. And we'll launch some food as well, just for safety's sake. We're doing okay on food, but I just I don't want to run out by accident. Systematic training will be done in roughly two days. Yep, whole polarization is complete. So that's good news. That actually reduces maintenance for everything in the colony. Which means these resources won't go down as quickly anymore. I'm going to shut down this fuel refinery as well, because we just don't need the refineries running right now. We we've got more than enough fuel. However, we apparently have a cable fault in a very bad place. Losing 5.8 each hour. Wow. Yeah. So now that we have so much cabling and piping happening, this is going to happen fairly frequently. Until we can do some research that makes it better. Founder stage is ending in 20 hours, ladies and gentlemen. We have so many colonists. We're not going to be able to have two rockets full of colonists at once, but we're going to have them just about as soon as we can. I'm not out of metal, am I? No, but the I'm noticing that my rover's not doing anything, so let's have him... Yep, it's this spot right here I need to look at. So you gather metals from this area and drop metals right where you are. That's fine. Now, I turned... What is going on here? I turned off. I guess because I turned this dome back on, my water production has skyrocketed. Oh, these both need maintenance. That's why. Well, we need the machine parts then. I'm glad I ordered them. That's why we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have the rocket land here. That's where I, why my water production is crap. How are we doing though on water? Uh, we might. I think we'll make it. We've got enough stored. Yeah, we'll make it. We will make it indeed. Lucky. 
This is why we need machine parts to be manufactured as soon as possible. We need people to work that freaking factory. But we will, very soon. Looks like we have a worker that's come in to start working the wheat here, which is nice. So we have farmers, at least one farmer, keeping an eye on each spot. I cannot wait to have more colonists. We have room for so many more. <laughs> Low on machine parts and food. Well, thankfully, in 10% travel time, both of those problems will be fixed. We are going to land the rocket out here, so it's going to take a second for the food to get all the way back over there, but it will. It will. All right, so this is Ariane 2. Those drones are going to go immediately start both refueling and carrying stuff off. Now, I could technically... Nice. All right, so the founder stage has ended. I am absolutely going to order a passenger rocket right now. We have, it looks like 16 match matching uh, colonists for our current requests. I don't want any officers just yet. So we're going to stick with our current requests for specializations. I don't think I'm going to specially select anyone. I just want a general uh, distribution of folks. Gamers, I'm okay with now. <laughs> So we'll say yes to that. And actually, since we're saying yes to everything, really, I don't think I need to worry about this anymore. I'm going to turn off those filters. Then flaws. I still want to minimize flaws. So quirks. Yeah, I want to make sure the tourists don't come. The vegans. I mean, why is that a flaw? Like, what's... I know the tourists don't work and they leave at the first opportunity and they stay if comfort is high. Don't have any gurus to worry about. So I'm just curious what what's up with the vegans like. It doesn't say I mean, I get that the joke is there, but I, I don't know what the problem is with them. I'm going to say no, just because I don't I'm not sure what's going on, but let's go ahead and launch that rocket full of colonists. All right, those extractors are going again. Meteor storm starting in 14 hours. New anomalies found. Nice. So we have a breakthrough anomaly and also looks like some new technologies. Let's have the RC Explorer come over here and recharge first before we send them that way. I'll have them come all the way down here. It's going to be in the ice, but they'll survive. <laughs> they'll get by. All right, so it looks like we brought that metal in. Where else is there metal? I know there is some. There's some right there. I just told you to check. Mm. All right, so gather there. Oh, you know what it is? I bet the RC, I bet the way it works is I've been assuming that they... You just kind of check the area around where you click, but I bet it's based on the zone that you click. I bet that's how they gather, which makes a lot of sense. Then again, it might be based on specific location. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. But I'm glad the founder stage has ended. Our new colonists are on the way and they're bringing food with them. this rocket to refuel and you can see the refueling happening I'll tell you what let's go ahead and prioritize area number two that way I mean there's only 10 drones at this hub so it I mean things are gonna be slow but at least what that means is that drones elsewhere in the base will help get fuel down this way where needed And actually, I can speed that up by building a fuel depot, most likely. Go 
good. Systematic training is done, and with that, we got a little bit more funding. That also was good for what? Yeah, scientists and botanists. So we now have more research output per stall, and our botanists are going to do better at producing our food. Meteor storms kicked in. Just means meteors will fall more rapidly. I'm sure you've seen some meteors pass in the background so far, but there haven't been a lot. We haven't had any impacts yet. We have a pretty large colony now, though. I mean, well, it's a small colony, but like we're spread over a large geographical space. So we'll see how it goes. All right, the fuel's starting to happen and pretty starting to happen pretty quickly, and you can see. Okay, good. They're going over to that fuel depot, which is what they should have done to begin with. Thank you very much. So maybe that one's not needed. Who knows? Oh, no, actually that... Yeah, never mind. It is in range. I was clicking the rocket. If the rocket had drones assigned to it, it would not be able to get to the fuel depot. But this drone hub can. Can get to both. Low on machine parts again. Again. Okay. We're bringing the new colonists down. Colonists down, excuse me. Um... Do I want to go ahead and build those stores here? I don't know if I want to yet. I think I'm going to leave it blank for now. There's enough to keep people happy in this dome, so I'm going to leave it as is. Alright, so this is pretty significant. They're going to come in and work where they're needed. And... Yep, yeah, Ariane number two needs to launch. And... You need to launch as soon as you're ready. We we've don't we don't have any of my rockets set up to export at the moment. All right, now that they've arrived, how are we doing on research? Uh, not many researchers arrived. We do have someone working the machine parts factory and the electronics factory, which will use some of my uh, rare metals. But that's fine. We need to be autonomous with these things. As soon as we get, as soon as we have more colonists, another rocket uh, is on its way back. So as soon as they can come back with more colonists things should get even better. We just want to fill up these two domes with residents. Right now we've only filled up one. Looks like people mainly prefer to live in this one. Yeah, productivity training will help too. Engineers and geologists. So that means factories and extractors will be better. Also, I could, ex I could uh, go ahead and do amplify on my extractors. Hang on. Should I do that on, on the concrete? I don't think I need it on the concrete. Alright, so it seems like power is an issue at the moment. Alright, that's right, I had some anomalies down here, didn't I? Now that you're charged up, you can go check those out. Let's go unlock this technology, and then we've got a couple of breakthroughs. That's fantastic. We'll look at those before the episode ends. Research drone on the way down. Yeah, I know, you're not working. Still don't have a lot of people here. And you are... I see the last bit of fuel going in now. And launch. Get going. You need to bring more people. <laughs> Alright, so both Ariane 1 and 2 are on the way back to Earth. That was pretty good return time. I mean, this one was 50% of the way back when I launched the second one, so... They're traveling together, and we can send them maybe both with colonists if we're lucky. We'll see how this goes. Productivity training is done. That's good news. So with that done, we've unlocked general training. Colonists without the proper uh, specialization, excuse me, suffer a lower... Work penalty. Ooh. Also, Martian education is going to come in handy soon. All right, Martian patents is going to give us more funding. Transport optimization. I think I will go for... Let me go for um, adapted probes, because that'll be nice and fast. And then live from Mars. Actually, live from Mars needs to be... Let's do that one first. Because that'll give me additional applicants. That could be exactly what I need at this juncture. Aha! So we have to have 40 technologies. Oh, this is actually kind of perfect that we got this mission. Wow! At Sol 100, we need 40 technologies researched. We currently have 22 researched. And we're a research colony, so I'm really glad the game gave me this mission. It's the first time I've gotten this mission, but that's phenomenal. Normally you get a, um, 
All right, new text available to research. Uh, normally you get a, um, what am I thinking? No, yeah, normally you get a mission to have a certain size colony in terms of people living there, but that's perfect. That's kind of clairvoyant on the game's part. Well done. All right, so we've unlocked the Martian Institute of Science, the Hawking Institute, which generates uh, research faster than a research lab. So, but we need to, that's a, that's a uh, social thing we need to uh, research, social technology. And we've also researched, or we've unlocked the atomic accumulator, which stores electrical power, has a huge capacity, but it charges slowly. And then of course, Martian-born adaptability. Martian-born colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums and have higher chance to gain perks from schools. Also, farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome. I might need to do that sooner than later. Let's go ahead and do that before Martian patents. So we are getting some funding again from these. That's one of the reasons we don't need Martian patents. To tell you the truth, I'm going to take that out of the list for now because so far I just I haven't felt like I've needed it. Eventually we will. Rocket cargo space increased. We could do that. Trying to get some of the cheaper technologies done because that'll help move us toward that goal faster and give us things that help in every way, pretty much. All right, so... Food-wise, we're still... We don't, we don't have a ton. Interesting. So we've had a new anomaly found, but it's up on top of the ridge here, and we need to build a tunnel to get up there. That's unfortunate. All right, we've got a couple of breakthroughs to look at now. We'll look at these, and then we will we'll stop the episode after that. Ariane number two is about to arrive at Earth. New colonists. Passenger rocket. Oh, okay, so we can't afford to be as picky anymore, unfortunately. So, which ones do I absolutely not want? Uh, I don't want idiots. <laughs> Let's say no. Uh, I don't want alcoholics. I don't have casinos at the moment, so gamblers... Gluttons, I can live with. Hypochondriacs, not so much. Uh, lose the sanity when low in comfort. Let's not have whiners. I don't want lazy people. Double sanity loss from disasters. Mm. Okay, so that's a pretty decent list. Let's go ahead and launch. As long as I don't have any of those traits for now, that's that's not bad. Okay, what's going on with the power situation? I'm a little bit surprised, but I guess what I'll do... It might just be maintenance related. Also, I can go ahead and do more of the upgraded turbines. That could help. So with that being done, that helps a little bit, but I still need a source of metals because I don't have a dome built to harvest those yet. We're, we're going to need to address that before much longer in more earnest fashion. Got a lot going on down here. Let's load metals. Area number one is still on the way back. We might be able to get some decent colonists from that trip as well. Machine parts factory is producing one per day. Really? Okay, that's another research anomaly up on top of the cliff. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's going to take a lot of resources to get up there. Dome streamlining. Domes cost 50% less basic resources. Ooh, 
That'll be good to have before long. I'm glad we haven't built any big domes. It's a good find. All right, let's get that anomaly scanned. This is going to be our last breakthrough in the area. Well, we might find some more. Oh, another research anomaly up there. I think it's coming from the meteor storm. Yep, that's what it is. So that's going to be huge to get up there and research. That's 1,500 research each. So that'll help me plow through some of the text that I have queued up. And some of the breakthroughs that I have coming could be pretty nice. I just want to see what this next breakthrough unlock is, and then we'll be we'll be set here. Nice. Rapid sleep. What's this? Colonists need to sleep for only one hour and regain extra sanity when sleeping. Oh, wow. Interesting. All right, so RC Explorer, you're done. Why don't you... I mean, there's not a way to get up there, is there? There shouldn't be. Yeah, I need I need a... We're definitely going to need a tunnel, which is doable. We'll, we'll get it done, but we just we can't do it right now. Let's get you back to base. If you move straight through and recharge there, you should be able to get through the ice. We'll see. Let's see if he gets back and we'll cut this episode here. You can do it. Come on, buddy. We believe in you. Low battery warning. Maybe we don't. Looks like I need to order some more resources. Let's see, machine parts. Yeah, let's see, what am I short on? A mm, bit of everything this time. Wow. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do five of each just to make sure I don't run out. The next colonists that arrive will start helping me sustain that more easily. And we are starting to build up some more rare metals. Thanks to, thanks to our production boost here. Another research anomaly. Wow, yeah, the meteor storm is... really working out. Okay, so the RC Explorer has arrived, and on that note, I will stop this one here, and the next one we are... What are we going to do? Let's see. I mean, we definitely have more colonists on the way, and we don't have any colonists living in the second dome yet, so we can take two more full shipments of 12. Um, and that'll definitely help the machine parts factory and the electronics factory. And we may also go ahead and build those stores here, which will allow residents from both domes to uh, have a little bit more to enjoy about life on Mars. But then we are going to start looking into, I mean, we, we still need some of these basic support technologies like farms increasing the comfort of all residences and the faster transport. But before long, we're going to be able to look at low-G engineering, which will give us access to the medium dome and the brand new Trigon dome, which was added in one of the more recent updates. So we'll be focusing on that and more in the coming episodes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.